good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are and what time of day it is when you watch this video. My name is Z, and welcome back to my gaming corner. As you can see, I am sitting here on the login screen for SimCity 2013. And I've been, I've been going through some things that I will tell you about next month when I do my update for 2023. But I've been watching Conflict Nerd's coverage of his nostalgia trip back to SimCity 2013. And that got me wanting to play the game again. And so I built a new city. And I used a trick that I figured out myself when I, when I first got the game 10 years ago, like in, in 2013, like I can't believe it's been 10 years. I, I was reading online and it was saying, oh yeah, you can make a whole bunch of money with trading. You can make a whole bunch of money with petroleum. You can make a whole bunch of money with, you can make a whole bunch of money with whatever you want to do. But I found myself, and I've never shared this with anybody else. I found a way that I can build a new city with the other stuff that I've already built in my region. I can build a new city and make it sustainable just like it is in city skylines where you're making billions and billions and billions of profit and you can basically do whatever you want and never have to worry about money, never have to worry about the budget, never have to worry about trying to balance jobs with, with population, with unsold goods, with, you never have to worry about any of that. You can just do whatever you want, build whatever you want. Granted, you can only do it city by city. So if you want to specialize a city a certain way and then build a new city and specialize it a different way, go right ahead. I'm going to show you this trick on how to make literal billions and billions and billions of dollars. I'm going to start by showing you the city that I started building yesterday. It took me about an hour and a half to build this city. It has over 300,000 population and the budget is in the hundreds of millions. So I'm going to click play and we're going to go into the city that I built yesterday. And I'm going to show you what I've built in the region. And then I'm going to show you what I do to start a brand new city. And I'm going to set you up for success. So it's going to go through and show you the Academy. And this is the opening of SimCity 2013. And for a game that came out 10 years ago, this is actually kind of amazing. Like it looks like a AAA triple-a game the graphics are amazing even now in 2022 this game still looks absolutely amazing and yes I have the I have the cities of tomorrow pack so let's just let's just go through this first part and get to where we can actually go into the game because I, I love looking at stuff like this to where we can actually see flybys and, and see cool stuff. Because this is the stuff you've been seeing in Conflict Nerd Cities. He's been building mega towers and he's been connecting with sky bridges. And you've seen all that on Conflict Nerd's page. But in his most recent video, which is video number 18, where he's like, can a maglev save us? He was struggling to balance the population with the number of jobs, with the unsold goods, with all of that, and he had to keep going back and forth from his other city and giving 700,000 simoleons, and it's just, I'm sure he thinks it is absolutely ridiculous. Let me show you what I do when I start a city, and then I just let it run, and I forget about it. So I've been playing in a city called Falconwing Square, yes, and I've, I, I play a lot of WoW. There's a lot of WoW videos on my, on my channel, and so I named a lot of my stuff after WoW stuff, right? So let's load into the game, and I'm going to show you this city that I built literally in like 90 minutes. And you can see my budget. You can see that I'm like 100,000 in the hole for hourly budget, but I'm in the hundreds of millions for profit. So yeah, we're just loading up here. Okay, so this is the city that I built in like an hour and a half. And you can see I'm $109,000 in the hole. 
but I have 148 million simoleons. And he says, your hourly budget is in the red, but your business investments are paying off. Keep your industry running or we may have a problem. So I'm 109,000 in the hole for hourly budget, but I am bringing in 6 million, 5.93 million. And all I'm doing is I'm exporting televisions, I'm exporting processors, I'm exporting computers. So TVs, processors, computers, TVs, I'm getting a little profit from my amusement park because I had, I had an airport right here in this, this part of the city. I'm gonna jack up the speed. And I'm probably going to, my computer has been like crashing and like the game just exits out because the, the simulation is so complex. So I had, a, I had an airport right here, but I put in an amusement park because one of my, one of my city hall people's like, hey, you should build an amusement park. So I built this amusement park. I'm getting profit from it. But I'm 100,000 in the hole with 100 million in profit because I'm bringing in nearly 6 million of profit just from this one little trick right here. This right here is my industry. It takes up one little spot on in my city and all the rest of this is fair game for me to build and do whatever I want. Everything else is I can do whatever I want, okay? So you build four processor factories and you want to build it fairly close to a trade port that is connected to rail, water, or both. And it needs to be just down the road from the trade port. You can go around this road and come right across. But if you can put it on like the same avenue or put all your industry in one area and have this be your main industry, this will make you boatloads of money. So if we go to the region view right here, you'll see that I have made a few cities. Okay, so I have Falcon Wing Square. I have Crestfall Shores. I have Ashenvale. I have Fairbreeze, I have Silius, which is the very first city I ever made. I have Dalvan over there where, where my university is. I have Silver Moon way, way, way over there. I've built a few. I've built a, a few mega towers, like one over in Silver Moon. Um, I have this one over here at Crest, uh, Silius Estates. I have a couple of mega towers over there. And I just have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of Smolians. So right here in Willow Woods, I'm going to build a brand new city and I'm going to be pulling on the resources of all these other cities that I have and I'm going to be using, here's the, here's the trick I'm going to be using. So I'm going to go into gifts right here and I'm going to gift simoleons and I'm going to select a claim city which is Willow Woods and I'm going to give them the max amount of simoleons. I'm going to send them a gift of 10 million bell or not bells but you know simoleons I'm, i've been playing animal crossing too um i'm going to give them a gift of 10 million and i'm going to start out this city and i'm going to do exactly what i said you're going to build four processing processor plants and three consumer electronic plants a trade port you're going to import plastic you're going to import alloy and export processors tvs and computers that's all you're going to do and you're gonna be just rolling in the moolah and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So we're gonna send that gift and we there, there we go. There's the gift of simoleons. I am then going to load into Willow Woods. I have never, ever, ever played on this map. I claimed the square just a few minutes ago. So here we are, brand new city, lots and lots of trees. We have our highway connection here do we have rail somewhere? Yes, we have rail all down here. See, this is actually quite perfect because what we can do is we can put the trade port right down here. We can have the train connection right there and we have the bay which connects to the larger part of the region. You can see that it connects over here to um, Crest Falls. Or is that, is that? I don't even know what city this is. It connects over to this city. It connects over to um, Falcon Wing Square, which is this city right over there that I built. It also, underneath this bridge, can connect over to Crestfall Shores. It can connect all the way over to there. So it can go all the way over to the other region and it goes around this peninsula and it even has access to um, Fairbreeze Village and even Slius in the farther distance. So this is perfect for a trade port. Now, the first thing you want to look at when you're um, in a new city is you want to look at the wind direction. I want to get that 
little I want to get rid of this watermark um, go away watermark I have the lifetime <laughs> I don't know why this watermark is on my videos but you want to look at the wind direction which is oh where's the wind direction it doesn't help that that watermark is on my screen and for some odd reason won't go away can I just like hide it somewhere just I want to exit because I don't know why it's it's on my screen but it's not it shouldn't be on my screen so the wind I'm, I'm, it's been a while since I've looked at the wind. Oh, it's this one right there wind map okay so it looks like the wind is blowing in from the bay. Okay. So what we can do is we can limit if we're going to have any polluting things on this map. We're going to limit it to this side of the map. We're probably going to take up maybe this little corner right here with our trade port and our factories. And then all the rest of this will be fair game for me to play in. And I'll be able to just rake in the moolah. Okay, so now that that's said and done and out of the way, let's just get rid of that. So we have our highway connection right here. And we're not going to be receiving the um, gift until I start placing my first set of roads. And then the gift will come through and we'll be gold. I mean, if we, if we hit play for a little bit, Daventry now has hazmat fire, firefighting abilities because I have the... I have the the university in the region. I have all the town hall upgrades in the region. So I have basically everything that I need. Now, the first thing I like to do is I like to take this high-density streetcar avenue. And this is where I start. I start with this high-density streetcar, streetcar avenue. And you'll notice that there's this guideline across here. What that guideline is, is if you build a road on that guideline, it leaves enough space between the road and the out of bounds to have one high density tower. Yeah, the space center construction is complete, blah, blah, blah. We have to do this with every, every city in the thing because we built the space center over here with, um, I believe it was with, with Ashendale building the space center. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's go back to my city view. So, what it does is when you put this road on this guideline, it leaves just enough space for one high-density 4x4 tower to fit in between the road and the edge of the map. So, we're going to take this and we're going to go all the way to the next guideline and stop. And then we're going to follow this one down. Now, here's here's where the rub is. So right about here at the second line, right before the train tracks, we're going to stop. Okay? Because with the train tracks in the way, it prevents us from building towers up against the train tracks. So at this stage of the game, we're going to take a high-density street, and this will allow us to have a train connection as well as one full tower between the street and the train tracks. So about this little space like right here is gonna be a little bit unused, it'll be a little bit of space right back there. Okay, and then what we're gonna do because most of the map is on the water, like on this, this southern part, what we're gonna do is we're going to come out here till we get to that line right there and we're going to drive all the way down here and you see the the 10 million just came through okay so what we're going to do is we're going to come to this line right here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and follow that coastline and we're going to be using these curvy roads and we're going to start right here oh i i i i actually hate that can I, can I, I'm just going to cancel that. I think I want curved roads. There we go. And I want to just follow the coastline as best I can. 
And then it kind of comes out here a little bit. And right about now, we're going to pause the game. Because we are we don't need to be paying maintenance costs on our roads. We're going to go out to there. We're going to have a nice little gentle curve. And we're going to go out to there. And then we're going to come out to here. And then curve out to there. And then we're going to curve around that loop, that little peninsula thing right there. And granted, there'll be enough space for towers, and then there'll be enough space to... They won't be right on the edge of the cliff. And we are going to follow this road right up to about, say, there. And then we're going to connect it up with that road right there. Okay? This is, this is a good start. Because now we have our entire city surrounded by this high density street with this is one exception right here by the train tracks. So first step, because we have access to everything, we can actually go into our trading thing and we can plop down a trade port right now. So what we need to do is we need to make a space for the trade port and we're going to put the water port right there on that edge of the bay. And we're going to put the train connection right about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, and I like to just start off with high density streets. That way I don't have to worry about it later on in the game. And if we take a, a high density street and come, oh, I don't, I don't want that. I want straight roads. And we come straight off this road. Oh. Maybe have it snapped to there. Okay. We're going to put the trade port on that road. Okay. There's our trade port. Okay. Okay. And we're just dealing with the 10 million initial gift. We're at 9.8 million right here. And we're going to edit this trade port. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bulldoze the freight shipyard. We don't want the freight shipyard. What we do want is on this second screen right here, we want a plastics lot and we want an alloys lot. These are going to be our imports. And then for exports, we're going to export processors. We're going to export computers. And we're going to export televisions. And that leaves us, because we're only using five of six, that leaves us with something else in the region that if we wanted to export coal or oil or ore or metal, or if we want to export fuel, we can do something else. So if we go into our view map and we look at the different things that we have in our region, like here's the oil map. Um, dum -de -dum, let's just zoom out all the way. Do we have, okay, so we don't have any oil. Do we have, we have a whole bunch of ore. So if we wanted to mine the ore, we could technically make our own oil, our, our own alloy. Do we have any coal? No, but we have a... Oh, we do. We have a bit of coal over here on this edge of the map. So if we wanted to make have a little coal mine there, have an ore mine here, we could totally do that. I'm not going to. I'm just saying that if you have the ability to have other things, like you have coal and you have ore, you can make alloy, you actually supply the alloy for your processors, you want to do that, great. You don't have to do that at all. So we're going to get off of the trading map. Our trading port is in. We also need to add in our train connection, which is the, this is the freight rail connection. We're going to put it right here at the very, very end. Okay, that still counts as part of the trade port. And we're going to put in... We're going to put in this guy. Okay, and I think I want to put it kind of right there on the corner. Okay, so now we can get in our... We can get in our supplies from the trading port either by sea or by rail. We can also export by sea or by rail. 
and then we're literally right down the road from the main highway connection, which is right over here. So if they do need, want to go out to the region or go all the way out to the spaceport, like if we need to send computers out to the spaceport, which is way over there somewhere, like there's the spaceport. If we want to send the computers out to the spaceport, we can get on the freeway, go right past um, Falcon Wing Square, right on to the spaceport. We can send computers over to them if we want to. Now, what we want to do is we want to have our processor factories really, 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 really close to our trade port. So the trucks from the trade depot that are bringing the alloy and the plastics to the processor factories have a clear shot to all the processor factories. And we're going to make it as easy as possible with very little traffic that we need. And if we even wanted to have low density streets right here to help cut down on the traffic, we could totally do that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a road. Um, we'll just stick with the high density streets. We're going to come over to here. And I'm going to put probably two processing factories next to each other right here next to the trade port. And then go up one block, put two processing factories, and then put our three consumer factories right there. And that is going to make us all the money in the world. So we're going to come back down here. So we have our trading stuff done. We're going to come to electronics. And they're saying it's not approved because we have to have five medium tech industrial buildings, zero so far, or five high tech industrial buildings, zero so far. Um, I don't know if there's any way that we can get around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play for just a little while. I'm going to go up here to the, to the top of the city where this stuff is. I'm just going to zone in around this little area right over here. Put some industry, a little bit of industry right here on this corner. I'm just going to let the simulation run until I get the requirements to do the processor factories. And I'll be right back with you in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> As you can see, it, I've only been playing for maybe 10 minutes. I mean, I should have just kept recording. Because I have the, the space center in the region, because I have that spaceport right over there, my tech level is actually quite amazing. So if we go into the education tab, you can see that my tech level is already over a gear it's a, a gear and three quarters just because of that space center over there in the, in the as a great work so what i did is i zoned on this high density street i just zoned to here just a little ways down from the highway connection i zoned this as residential i zoned right around the corner for commercial and then over here i zoned industrial and I let them build and then I built a high school and I put down a couple bus stops and all of a sudden this factory right there which is high wealth this one which is high wealth that one's high wealth that one's high wealth this one is high wealth that one's high wealth they all just all of a sudden started coming up and I have been allowed the petition to build the electronics factory the processor factory and I also have the consumer electronics factory. Okay, so right here is the trick that I've been talking about. Now, I did build a little bit of a, a wind power plant with these high density um, solar turbines because I've, re I've researched that at the university. What I'm going to do here with this wind plant is I'm going to remove this bit of, oh, I, I didn't want to do that. I mean, we're we're still 86.9 thousand more than we need. 71.9 megawatts more than we need. So we'll just we'll just stick with that for now. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Okay, so I can now build processor factories. So we're going to build four of them. And we don't really care about expanding onto the side. We're going to expand out the back. <coughs> Sorry, I've I've been talking a lot, and um, 
yeah, it's when you do a lot as much talking as I do, and you don't drink a lot of water, this can sometimes happen to you. Okay, so we have two of our four processor factories. And if we use the other side of the street to do the other two, so we have a processor factory there, and we have a processor factory right there. Okay, there's our four processor factories. We've used about one and a half million simoleons that we had the gift for. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a high-density road from right here on the side of the process factory straight up till about, oh, let's go to the second, the second line, okay? First thing we're going to do, we're going to go into each of these processor factories and we're going to modify them to the greatest amount. So we can put a sign down, you can put it right there in front of that garage. We're, we want to have all the trucks that we can handle. So we can have four trucks and that will deliver the processors to the trade port, which the trade port is literally right down the road. And then these processor assembly lines, you want three more. So we're going to put it, you can put them in any, conf, um, any configuration you want. If you want to have them be like that and just go all the way back, you can. I like to go like this and have them be vertical up against the back of the building and have my processor factories look just like that. They don't take up a lot of space, but you're going to do that to each one of your factories. So we're going to edit it. We're going to put in the four trucks. So there's two, three, four, and then we're going to put in the other processor bits and we'll put a sign up right here in front of that little garage door. That's that factory sorted. And then we're going to come into here and we're going to put in our four trucks. And we're going to put in our other processing lines. Okay, so we've now used 2.1 million simoleons. And the reason we get 10 million simoleons is because it's going to take a little bit of time to actually get the first shipment out. And then we're going to be ro rocking and rolling. And you can already see we're already nearly, we're over 8,000 in the hole. And, you know, I'm really not worried about it. Because this is how I start my cities every single time. We get water and sewage. And I'll show you what I did with water and sewage in just a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. I have like a, a frog in my throat today. And then did I put the sign up on the other one? Yes. Well, did I? Oh, did I forget the sign on the other one? I, th I think I did. Whoops. Yeah, I totally forgot the sign. There we go. Okay, we have our four processor factories ready to go. And it takes one and a half processor factories to supply one consumer electronics factory. So if you have one and a half plus one and a half, you have three. And then this last one will supply the third processor factory. For not the process, but the third consumer electronics factory. So what we can do with our consumer electronics factories, we're going to put one directly across the street from the trade port. It's going to go right there. And we are going to maximize it as much as we can. Okay. So we'll put a sign up. Um, it's kind of sad that you can't have the sign like directly in front of the building. It has to be somewhere else. So if we put the sign directly in front of the... Actually, that's a bad idea because I I haven't upgraded all of the trade port yet. I haven't put in all the delivery trucks yet. And I, I think I want to put them right there in front or over there. So we'll, we'll forget a sign on that one, but then we'll for our, our other trucks. So these are the delivery trucks that we can use for our thing okay so the computer assembly line has to be at, ele at the electronics hq but i've done that already i have an electronic uh, an electronics hq already in the region so right now we're just going to have two tv assembly lines and then we'll put the two computer lines over there as soon as we get the petition to build the computer lines we'll do that and now I'm going to extend this road up. So 
So, the computer assembly lines are... We're just going to do a road straight back to there. And straight back another two. And what we can do now is we can have a consumer factory right there and a consumer factory right here. So, let's put in our consumer factory line right there next to that road and let's also put it in as close as we can get it to those to these factories right here now what we can do here is we need to have our delivery trucks that will take this stuff directly to the trade port and we have to put one around back and then we have to put a tv line in and then like we can have another one right here and then another one or we can just have it right right there going back and back and back we can do whatever we want with it we can have our little sign we could even put that like right over there okay and then for this con this consumer electronics factory we are going to edit it we're going to put in our four trucks let me just get the camera sorted okay there we go and then truck number three and truck number four we'll put our sign in right there and we'll put in another tv line so we're going to have so you like this one because i'm a little bit too close to this factory i'm going to have to come and maybe have this factory be um have it go back and back and back don't know if i wanted to bulldoze that and move it down a little bit farther um i think that's what i want to do so let me just redo that whole factory I'm sorry to do that to you, but let me just redo the entire factory. So we don't want it right next to it. We want to come out like maybe four. Okay. And now when we go in and edit this, if I put in the TV line, I can go right back there and it's as close as I want to get it to that other factory. Okay. So let's put in our trucks and we'll put in our sign right there and oh nope don't want that and then i i think i will put in a sign on this one we'll just you know stick it right there okay and then on the trade port i have one of 12 for delivery trucks okay so i have i have the plastic storage lot i have the alloy storage lot i have processors computers and televisions and then i've i need to have another another space I can move a factory or whatever, but this is really all I need to have my my city be whatever I want it to be. So we're gonna put in as many trucks as we can. We wanna stack them as close together as we can, put as many as we can. Um, it looks like we could put one. Yeah, let's put the rest right here in front. Seven, so much of these, these are 50 an hour and 3,000. 10, 11, and if we try and go over here, it's like too far from the main building. So we have to put the last one right there. Okay, that's the trade port. Oh, we need to put in a little sign. Oh, where if we have the sign? Right here up front. So there's our trade port sign. And where we have, we can put in one more thing right back there if we wanted to have one more, one more lot. If we want to have um, what I would highly recommend doing because we have four processor factories, I would highly recommend having a second lot for processors. So we have processor lot here and here with TVs and computers right there. Okay, and now all we have to do, this, like I said, it only takes up like one-tenth of the buildable space and we have all of this that we can then do whatever we want to do in because this will pay off. Now let's go into the trade port and manage our global, global deliveries. So we want to export those processors at 100,000. We want to export, we can make TVs right now. We want to export that. We want to export computers and we want to import alloy and import plastic. Okay, now the other thing that we can do to help out our, our industry is we can do the recycling plant and we can also we also need a garbage dump okay now remember how i said the wind is blowing in that direction and we don't want 
any of our pollution to be over here with our residential. So I'm I'm chopping off the residential because these these don't produce a lot of they don't produce any air pollution, but they do produce ground pollution. So basically, from this road right here, we don't want residential. So all the industry is going to be over on this. What is that? Eighth of a map? Because how much? How many times can we fit that over to that side? Maybe one, two, three. Maybe on this fifth of the map is going to be where our polluter stuff is. So what we're going to do is now that we have our factories in, I'm going to bring a road down, straight down, just right there, and we're going to put in. I probably don't even need this road, but we're we're probably going to delete this, and I'll and and we'll do something else later. I need to have space for the recycling center. Okay, so the the other things are going to be right about there. So if I put the recycling center maybe way down here, so we're definitely not going to be interfering. Now, the recycling center can produce metals, but I don't want to do metals. So we're going to edit our recycling center. And we are going to, it already has a plastic wing, but we're going to give it another plastic reclamation line. Put that right there. We're then going to do alley reclamation lines, and then we have to do this last side right there. And then we're going to do the reclamation delivery trucks, which will take our reclamated goods and take it to the trade port because it will deliver to the trade port, but it will also deliver directly to the factories if we want to deliver it to the factories. And I think we're just going to cannibalize everything we can because I can't put them on this side because of the road. And we can do one more right there. Perfect. Okay, so that is the recycling bin all sorted out. And then maybe right across the street we can do a garbage dump on that street. And on this garbage dump we're going to edit it. We're going to put in two atomizer, not atomizer, but two um, incinerators and that right there will take care of all the garbage in our city I have this exact garbage dump in my city that has um, 300,000 people and that's all you need is two atomizers and I have room to put in two more if I want to um, we already have one garbage dump right there we just need the garbage trucks and so we're gonna put we can have eight of them we have one right now and I think that's the one right there so we have two three, four, and one, two, three, four. And that is basically all we need to have our city be profitable. We are going to hit play at the fastest speed. We are 20,000 in the hole, but we're just going to watch our profits skyrocket. So now we're just going to play a waiting game. And like this guy is going to say, Mayor, Omega Core is always looking, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. We're not doing Omega Co at all. So we're just waiting for our first shipment of oil, of ore. Not ore, but of, wait a sec, power failure. Oh, because our power, our, our, um, our factories require a buttload of power. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come over to our little power plant and we're going to extend this out because I can extend it out. Can I go farther? I can go, I can go all the way to the trade depot. Perfect. And then I can just stick in all of these that I can make fit. Will it fit one more? It will fit one more. And then we're just going to put this at the other side. This, I mean, it does 15 megawatts. 16 in excess. So we're going to hit play. And that should take care of it. So as soon as all these go online, we're 58 plus... We just need to make sure everybody has power. And as soon as we put in the other things, um, 
we're 43 in excess. Oh. I might just want to put in another one. Ah. And if I even want to, I can stick this on the power plant. And then what I can do is I can go to the region and I can actually buy control net from the region because I have an excess of control net in the region. I'll put the sign up. Okay, so right here it needs control net. We're now 73 in excess, which is perfect. We're going to go to the region view. We're going to go to control net. We're going to buy from Ashenvale because we have a whole bunch in Ashenvale. We have a surplus of 1920. I need 1200 of that for my city. And that will double our electricity generation. And now we're just waiting for... Oh, I need to turn the Trade Depot on. Maybe I should do that. Okay, Trade Depot is on. It's just going to hire. And we have 372 people. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Trade Map. And we're, see, there's the first train delivering us a whole buttload of alloy and plastics. And we're going to take that alloy and plastic and we're going to start supplying our, um, our plants with it. So this processing plant is now going to start producing processors. And it will take those processors, some of it will go to the Trade Depot, some of it will be supplied to these consumer electronic factories. And as soon as we start exporting, we're going to be rolling in the dough. Like right now, we're in the hole and he's like, keep an eye on your budget, you're in the red, we're a million in the hole. Because we're just getting our industry upgrading. This is why I gifted my town 10 million bells, or 10 million simoleons. So yeah, we import by um, road, we also import by rail, we also import by sea, we also export by stuff. So, so now we have our first set of processors into this plant, we're now producing televisions. And we just got resupplied by the train. And you can just watch it happen. So there we go, our, our third processor factory just came online, it's now producing, producing processors. These guys are producing televisions. And it just takes a little bit of time for this to bed in, act like it does in city skylines. You have to put down your, your routes, put down your stuff. you got to let the stuff bed in, and all of a sudden you're raking in the dough. So now we're starting to outfit the third or the second consumer electronics factory. And they're now producing televisions. Here comes the train again, and just resupplies our trade depot with alloy and with plastics. And now... The Trade Depot trucks will go out and supply the rest of our factories, hopefully. Okay, our fourth processing plant just came online. And you see we have processors and TVs ready for export. So as soon as the train comes back, it's going to take our processors and television. And even when the trade um, ship comes through, it will take a lot of our goods. Here, here it comes. And we're going to see a big fat green number. We just exported a whole bunch of processors, TVs. So we just made, we were 900,000 in the hole. And now we're approaching profit. Our third plant um, is still hiring people. What I can do here is I can actually close down all of this industry that we don't need and just have this be our industry and all of our people can work in the factories like we technically we don't even need this industry like at all so if i wanted to i think i want to dezone all of this and then blow it all up because oh no cancel cancel i want to no, I want to blow up the industry, not the high school. So now the jobs are down here at the factory. We, for power, we are 274 in excess. Wow. Okay. 
We are now 368,000 in profit. We're importing a lot of plastic and alloy. Um, yeah, we're, we're having a little bit of embezzlement and like this right here is like, we need, we have all this stuff we need to, um, oh yeah, so we'll, it, it, it wants us to get the electronics headquarters in. I mean, we can get the electronics headquarters in, but I need to get fire, police. So let's let's pause the game. So what I'm going to do for right now? Oh, I don't know why it still has this little bit in there. Okay, we need fire, police, and medical. So we're just going to jump right in to a police sink, a a police precinct with all the bells and whistles. And we need to have a big fire department. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe have the fire department be right here on... Because they're as big, as wide as one tower, and it's, that guide road lets us put it on the outside of the map. That way we could have the inside of the map be for what we want. And then for the hospital... And this will cover our entire city. Okay, I guess we'll have the hospital be right there. Okay, so now let's edit the police because we're just going to edit everything all the way to the max. So we'll start with a nice sign right there. We're going to give out max police cars. And you know what? We can be, we can be playing because we're going to be in profit so quickly. Okay, so we're going to put on a detective wing there. Two detective wings for that. And then we're going to have two... What, oh, this is a detective wing. We also want to have the crime prevention stuff. We're going to put the crime prevention in the back. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't want it like that. I want it like something else. I want it to be turned the other direction. I want it to look like that. And then we can have jail cells on the ground floor... Um, or we can just put jail cells on the roof. Now, nah, no, jail cells on the ground floor. And then jail cells on the roof, and on the roof, and... Oh, I guess the other place we have to... Okay. Put jail cells over there, and then we can have the dispatch tower right there. And we'll even give them some helicopters on top of the detective wings on top of the jail, and maybe one right there. Okay, so that is the police precinct completely maxed out. And then we're going to do the hospital. We're going to max it all the way out. So we'll put a nice sign up right here in the middle in front of the... Maybe right there. Some ambulance bays we'll put right here on this side so we can not have to worry about six sims and then for patient rooms this is going to be a very very tall hospital because we're going to max out the patient wings no no not on the ground ugh and this will cover our entire city that we will never ever ever have to have another one then i'm going to take the diagnostic lab put that on top and the surgical center on the very, very top. And then for the emergency room, we'll just have this be right here along the back. And then we can have four wellness center vans. One right there. Two on one side, two on the other side. And that is our hospital, completely maxed out. And the last thing we need, is this the thing for the fireworks show? Yeah. And right here, we're going to edit this fire station. And we're going to give it everything that I can give it. So we're going to have four normal fire trucks. It can have four hazmat fire trucks. We can have four fire marshals. So we'll start putting them in. We can have the fire bell be right there. We'll put in a nice sign right here. We'll put the flag in. 
right there. Okay, so there is fire, police, and hospital all maxed out. We're down to 3 million simoleons. How is our budget doing? So we are 975,000 in profit because we're importing a lot of a lot of alloy and plastic. And we're just going to look at our trade map. And as you can see, we are making processors, we're making TVs. Do we have the ability to do computer stuff yet? So if I click on this, can I do... Okay, because I have to have an electronics HQ. Okay, so you this is going to be per city. So what we're going to do in the electronics tab, we're going to bring in an electronics headquarters. And I'm going to put the electronics headquarters right up here next to the fire station. And it's already upgradable. Yeah, thanks. And so now what I can do is I can ah, edit the electronics HQ and I can stick in the electronics factory. Process all the plastic storage at the trade port and I think we're just going to put the consumer electronics division right there. And then I think I can now do computers. Yes. So computer assembly line, we're going to put that right there. We're now going to start producing computers and we are just going to go skyrocketing. So let's put in two computer lines right there. One, two, and then on this third one, computer assembly line, have one right there and one right there. And now we watch and wait. So let's open up our trade map. They are now building TVs, computers, and processors galore. And when the, when the train comes, we get a whole bunch of money. And we are now in profit, 2.3 million, 800,000 in profit. Your hourly budget's in the red, but your business investments are paying off. Keep, up your, keep your industry running, or we may have a problem. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you can just watch the trade map. They come in, they take the, they export the processors and they bring us, um, oh, they bring us alloy and plastic and we export processors and TVs and computers. That's all we do. Here comes another alloy truck. We just bought some more alloy. And just to get this stupid thing to go away, we're going to say, okay. And see, and we're even getting some alloy and plastic here at the recycling center. So there we go. The processor just came out of that factory and went up to supply the consumer electronics factory. So here we go. We're now exporting TVs. So here comes the train taking our processors. And now we have TVs for sale. We have are these TVs or are these computers. These are computers. Perfect. And now we're going to be bringing some TVs down to the Trade Depot. So now we have TVs, computers, and processors that are going to go out on the next train, and they're going to be worth a fortune. So here comes the train, and he takes away some processors and, and some computers. And we just exported 700,000. We are now a million in profit. And this is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. All we did was take up this one little corner of the map. We have all of this that we can now do whatever we want. We're 63,000 in the hole. We have 354 people. Our processors are running. They are powered. We have recycling. We have garbage. We have full police, hospital, fire. We have the electronics HQ, which is now, we need 4.5 million in electronics daily profit. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We have all day to make electronics HQ profit. Oh, because why? Because the factories are for sewage. Oh, okay. So for our sewage plant, oh, our sewage is closed because we now, we're now hiring. So we need to have more residential. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to specialize 
some more residential. All of that can be residential. Sure, why not? <laughs> So let's go back to our our trade map and we can just we can just watch. So this little yeah, we're we're doing fine for what I might just do is we're just going to edit this really fast. We're just going to max out our sewage treatment and we will never have to worry about it until we're over 200,000 people. 6 and 7 and the nice what? Why? Why can't I we'll put one there, and then we can put one like that? Okay. So what what happens is the the sewage treatment plant refills the water table, and then you have your water tr water pump on the other side, and it can just pick up the water from the from the sewage plant. So we're gonna take take, take the basic water pump, and we're gonna max it out, and we shouldn't have to worry about this until we're over 200,000 people. Five and six. There. Our water and sewage just needs to have people employed there. And then we're going to get 100,000 just from the, the space shuttle launch. So let's go back into our trade map because I love the trade map. We have processors at the trade port. We are producing lots of computers, lots of televisions. Now we have processors, TVs, and computers at the trade port. And we should be seeing a train come. Oh, it looks like they're, they're having trucks come into the city. And it looks like because we have so many people that want to come to the city that our traffic is already kind of overflowing. So we could do... Um, like control net stuff in here and actually have a mag rail like a maglev stuff to come in and save us but remember how we started out with 10 million and we went all the way down to what 2.8 million we're now 2.6 million in profit making 4.2 million right there i believe that our thing look at that we're 4.539 out of 4.597 of daily profit and now we're upgradable so we can now upgrade our electronics HQ. Look at that right here. And we can put in our last little bit right here on this little corner. There it is. We'll put in our nice big sign. Uh, maybe right there. Perfect. So we have just maxed out our tech industry. We could put in the trade HQ if we wanted to. Um, what's this? Mayor, we're not producing electronics as efficiently as we could. We need university graduates in the city to increase our efficiency. Um, what does it say we have to do? Plop a university? No thanks. I have a university in the region already. And this is saying that we want to have the arc. Garbage incinerators are clunking. Up. They want us to put in the, the garbage atomizers, which I don't want to. So let's go back to our trade map, because I love watching the trade map. So we... We sold our processors, we have computers, we have 2,000 crates of television, and we're just waiting for the exports. Oh, the TVs just went out, and it looks like they're coming in. Unfilled medium wealth jobs. Yeah, so we need medium wealth, whatever. Yeah, leaving the city is not a problem. Why is it still saying that we don't have sewage? Um, let's look at the sewage map, is it? It's processing the sewage just fine. So why are the people up there saying that they need... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yeah, we don't need to have that on anymore. But yeah, that's all you do. Four processor factories, three consumer electronics... A trade depot with two processor storage bays, one TVs, one computers, with plastic and alloy. You're importing, exporting all of this, and we're now 5.4 million. 
We're now 5.5 million profit. Look at all this, 100,000 100, for processors, 184,000 for computers, 158,000 for televisions, 200,000 for processors. The train just came in and brought us stuff, took stuff away. And we are now 6.3 million. We can just about give that 10 million back. And we're 65,000 in the hole. We are 6.5 million in profit. 4.9 after we take out the 65,000. 4.9 million in profit. And we can basically now do whatever we want. So we have all of this to play with. And I'm thinking what I might want to do is I might want to make an amusement park. Like find, find a place where I can build the city hall and then maybe adjust it as I start getting high density buildings. Because what I like to do, oh, what's this from the region? Oh, from the great work. Okay, I don't know what they wanted us to do here. But, like, we have, like, like what does this say for the electronics? Mayor, the tech sector is booming in this city now that we've established an electronics HQ. Why not use all these electronics? And, okay, so we're going to say into space we're going to get a 3,000 because we've already, we add the consumer electronics, we've already researched the space station, and so we basically get a 3,000 simoleons. So that's free. And this guy said, I need a place to work. So what does he want me to do? Um, he wants me to zone industrial 10 more buildings. Okay, so now if we want to, we can put in, we can put our industrial back in. Um, the other thing that we can do is we could put in a passenger train terminal or even, oh no, 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 trains. We could even put in the German one I'd have to demolish part of a road, but like this one. Um, oh, because it also has road stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's let's just pause the game. And let's bulldoze. We're just going to bulldoze just a little bit of road. We're, we're going to reconnect everything. Oh, we don't. Nope. 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 Let's put in the train station. Let's use the German high-speed rail because we can. Put it right in front of that road connection. And then what we can do is then we just we need to reconnect the high-density street. And reconnect the high-density street. And then reconnect you. Right there. Done. Done. And done. The train station's in. And then we can work on our public transportation. We can have people come into the city by a rail. And that's all we have to do for power. We are 275.9 megawatts in excess. That'll last us for quite some time. Looks like we're having a lot of activity at the trade port. Here comes the train. And it takes away all of the televisions. And so if we look at our budget, we just exported 316,000 in televisions. And we just had another one, another 100,000 in processors. And we brought in, all we're doing is we're importing alloy, importing plastic. We're not producing, we're, I mean, we're producing alloy and plastic at the recycle center and it will come and deliver stuff to the factories and whatnot. But all we have to do is import alloy, import, import plastic, export processors, televisions and computers that's all we have to do there we go we're, we're now exporting all of our processors they go out and that's all we have to do space center launches so here comes here comes a computer here comes a computer vehicle cool they take our computers away and so now we just did 184,000 in computers got 100,000 from the mission we were from launching the satellite 100,000 for processors, and we are just making bank. We're now 4 million in profit, and we can just sit here. Look at that. We were all the way down to 2.2 million, and now we're in profit, and we can basically do whatever we want. This is all you have to do. It takes 20 minutes to set up. Here comes the train again, and it takes away all of our processors, all of our computers, and we just 
exported three, four, five, six, six hundred thousand in profit. Four point three million, and we're only in sixty-four thousand in the hole. This is how I like to play City Skyline, not City Skylines, but how I like to play Sim City. Four processor factories, three consumer electronics factories, a trade port. You're done, and you have all of this space that you can do whatever you want. So this is how I like to start cities. I have a maxed out hospital, maxed out large fire station, maxed out police precinct with max jail cells. We have a bit of industry because we don't really have a need for industry because this will take up. This can be your industry if you want it. See, am I, do I, yeah, I don't really want to do that quest. Um, but like this, this demarcation line right here, all of our heavy polluting air pollution stuff is going to be in this space over here. Our water stuff's over here and we have this whole big place where we can build any kind of city we want. Look at that. Our density is already increasing. And so our population is now at 5,800 people and, and I'm just loving it. So what I could do if I wanted to is I could put in streetcars and have the street, court, the street cars go all the way around if I wanted to. Um, I could put in buses. I could put in public transportation. I can basically do whatever I want. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be sharing this with Conflict Nerd to, to show that all you need is just this. It takes up one tiny little corner, like maybe one eighth or one even even one tenth because you could do maybe one six one six of your town for your profit and you can do whatever you want in the rest of it that's all you need so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please feel free to give me a thumbs up rate me a like if you haven't done so please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you always know when new content comes out also please tell your friends about me so they can come and they can enjoy these videos and enjoy the adventures and enjoy the content that I like to put out um, as much as you do. I don't know when I'll be able to bring you a new video. There's been th some things going on in my personal life and I will give you an update video just as soon as the holidays are over. It's a week before Christmas. I start my new job on Monday and I don't know how, how busy I'm gonna be. I don't know how often I'm gonna be able to record videos and make, make content for you. But I will get you an update video as soon as I'm able. Um, but until then, I hope you've enjoyed this, this video. Um, I hope to see you in the next adventure. But until then, I'm Z, signing off.